Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Brave Browser has received its first version upgrade of the year. And this latest release rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 15th of January. So, as always, to check we have this latest release, we head to our main menu, Help, About Brave. Browser version in bold after the update has been applied is 1.86.139. And the Chromium platform 144.0.7559.59. Now, first of all, just focusing on the Chromium security fixes that have rolled out. That would be exactly the same as Google Chrome, but a quick recap. The security update includes 10 security fixes. And three of those security fixes are addressing three high severity vulnerabilities which are listed as out-of-bounds memory access in V8, and there are two inappropriate implementation vulnerabilities, and the rest are mediums and lows. So 10 security fixes have rolled out for the Chromium platform. Now focusing on what's new in Brave Browser itself. First of all, if you are using the wallet, there's an add-on, an update, they fixed a Mac OS issue where switching apps using command and tab closed the wallet panel and there's also another bug fix taking place under the hood so a couple of improvements there for the wallet and then if you're using the chatbot Leo Leo AR just to let you know that Brave says that it's added support for rich results from Brave Search. And if we head into the settings and we scroll down to where we get the different models, Brave says that it's added several new premium models in Brave Leo. So those are obviously, if you have a Brave Leo subscription, we can see quite a few premium models there. A couple of new ones been added. And Brave says that it's fixed list numbers not being displayed correctly in Brave Leo responses. So those are a couple of improvements rolling out for the AI chatbot. And then focusing on general new features and improvements. Brave says it's added an ask keyword shortcut for ask Brave search in the URL bar. So if we head up to the address bar, type in an at, here we can see ask, ask Brave. So that's directly now from the actual URL bar, the address bar. And if we head into our settings, appearance, and we scroll down to the tab section. Brave said it's added and always hard tab close button setting on the appearance page. So you can see, so just to show you that again, yeah, you can see the tab close button, toggle that on, it's gone, toggle that off, it's back. Now, I personally don't see any use for that setting, but nonetheless, Brave must have put it in there for some reason or regarding user feedback. And then rounded corners is a feature you can enable on the appearance page, show rounded corners on main content area. Brave says it's improved rounded corners on Mac OS. It's also improved display of the sidebar on mouse over when rounded corners are enabled. Now personally, I don't really like the rounded look in Brave, so I keep that off. But those are two rounded corner improvements. And then on the new tab page, if we head into our settings and you are using top sites, if you toggle top sites on, you get those shortcuts on the new tab page. Brave says it's increased the maximum number of top site tiles on the new tab page from 48 to 120. So that's quite a lot of tiles and top sites you can see on your new tab page if you are using that feature. Just to mention the next two 
Brave says it's updated the vertical tab strip to expand on mouse over when Brave is not in focus. And there's a fix where Brave says it's fixed the collapsed tab groups being expanded when moving via drag and drop. And there's another bug fix regarding shields and the different filters. So if we head into shields and we click on content filtering, Brave says it's fixed the inability to disable hidden lists in Brave setting shields filters. So guys, that's more or less what's new. In Brave Browser version 1.86 with Chromium 144 and that rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 15th and we are still waiting for Microsoft Edge but I'm sure we'll get the Edge version upgrade to 144 later today in my part of the world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.